And in this next room, in a beautiful display case, you will see a delicately wrought object with a glittering hackmanite tip. I present Poseidon's Rod. Welcome to the Appurtenance Archive. Do you know what that is, George Oss? Wood. Well, pulped wood, maybe. Pulp, pulped, pulp wood? Yes. Is that an album from a 90s, seminal 90s indie band? <laughs> no, but... Jarvis probably... Cockend. Yeah, <laughs> no, that's probably the cover band. That's right, pulp yeah. wood. Yeah. Would they? They probably wouldn't know. Anyway, no, George Oss, you're right. That was the sound of pulped wood. And what is it? It is a calendar. It is a calendar. And a calendar of what? Of days, I think. And, well, on the calendar there are pictures of uh, board games. Yes. So, what we're talking about here is the board game calendar, is how they say it in this country. Yes, as opposed to English, where it's board game calendar. Exactly. Mm -hmm. From Meeple Pete and Frosted Games. This is the one for 2017. Which is the current year, which is helpful, because um, until recently I did not have a calendar. I'm looking at my one, which is on the wall, and it's March, Merz, as they say in German. Quite. The god of war, George Oss. Well, that's, yes, but also uh, probably the best month of the year. Well, it is. It's my birthday month. And it is mine as well. We share a birthday month, except you're not a Pisces, are you? No, I'm proper Aries. Which means you're not creative, you're more sort of got curly horns on the side of your head. I am a first... And the most badass, that is true. Are rams the animal equivalent to Princess Leia? No, but... Did did they base the haircut on rams? Yes, they did, yeah. She is our spirit animal, or spirit princess in that case. So she's an Ares? Oh, well, Leia, basically, yeah. I don't know about Carrie Fisher. So what are the aspects of Ares? What's your defining characteristics? Head first, I believe. Head first? Yeah. You mean headstrong? No. You go head first? Yeah. Into what? Everything. Fences. I assume for example. Rams are called rams for a reason, I assume. Yeah, they run up rams. Exactly. Anyway, so looking at March, and what's the game on March, George Oss? I believe it's uh, the Dragon and Flagon. It is. It's Dragon and Flagon. And let's look at some of the highlights. Yes, yes. Let's do visual... Con- <laughs> let's talk about visual elements. That's this is great. Thing. Doing doing a component section on an audio podcast. I think that might be my, our most groundbreaking idea. It is. So, February. Already gone, George Oss. Yeah, gone too soon. What did you do in February. I don't remember. Did you kiss your good lady on the 14th and say, I love you? What's the 14th? Is that some sort of innuendo that, I'm, that you know, us it's continentals Valentine's, don't it's know? It's Valentine's Day, George Oss. It's where, where the romance comes out. You dress in stockings and suspenders and surprise your lady. Well, I don't need I don't need Valentine's Day for that. I mean, you are wearing beautiful stockings today. I know, you look I know. gorgeous. Of the way, course. They're, they're hold-ups as well. Yes, they are. And they're biting into the Supple chubby flesh. chub chub. Of your supple. thighs. Supple. It's supple. So February, we have Imhotep. Yes, which I think is still the best best joke in the entire Mummy trilogy. And it's a very, very nice picture. It is, yes. Actually, um, I'm going to, to spoil a bit. All these pictures are nicely sharp and clean and fairly um, professionally laid out. Oh, it's a professional job. There you go. Meeple Pete is a hell of a photographer. Oh, listen to that. Oh, the sound of paper. Isn't that quite a rock? Well, it's not quite paper, though. It is a uh, thick... Is it cardboard yet? I don't know where, where, the, where, the, where paper turns to cardboard, what, which thickness turns paper to cardboard. Well, it's either pard... Yes. ...or caper. I don't get it. Paper, card, card, paper. It's in between, George. So it's either pard or caper. All right. Good job. Thanks. Yeah. Thanks. <laughs> So we have April, which interestingly enough, this is a German calendar. April is the same in German as it is in English, except they say it funny, don't they? I don't know. I, I'm, I'm, I'm amazed at your skill at wordplay today. What's that game, George Oss, on April? What uh, is it? Oh, I thought it was Seasons, but it isn't. It's actually uh, Pandemic the Dice game. It is Pandemic the Cure. Oh. And all the dice are lovely arranged and they, they shine like gems 
made out of plastic. Yes. Plems. Plems. Jastic. Now that sounds naughty. <laughs> May. What do we have in May? I honestly do not know. I do not recognize this game. Oh, crikey. What is that? That is... It's a game and it's got a board. It's a uh, it's a pentagon. No, wait. What's but the word? You, it's, it's a pentagon, yeah. yeah. But if you don't know, what's another great thing about this calendar is it has a handy key somewhere and it'll tell you what yeah, the games it, are. I think it's the last page or something. Yeah, let's have a look. No? Be- because every good calendar should basically be a riddle. Exactly. I can't find it, George. This is this is crucial listening. It Me is. Me flipping through a calendar. <laughs> ah, here we go. There you are. Mombasa. That's Mombasa. That's Mombasa. All right. You can yeah. feel the oppression, George, from the picture. I, I wonder if we should just just give up and call it the name, uh, the game that shall not be named. Exactly. August. What's this, George? Ooh, uh, I believe that's the gallerist. It is the gallerist. Not a lot of people know of. Well, they might know of the gal- gallerist, but I don't think a lot of people own the gallerist. I'm not. I'm one of those people. And in this picture, do, do you want to describe the picture, George? And I'll do the music. Uh, no. <laughs> Uh, they're, they're, they're meeples on a board, and there's something that looks like a tower, and there's four, I believe, four <laughs> paintings on, uh, what do you call them? On stands? Easels. Yeah, easels, thank you. Uh, it looks very, um, almost serene. So you can see sort of the, the art in the background. My face is beautiful. It's again, uh, that would be the February music, not the August music. February. Anyway, it's a nice little picture, nice li- nice bit of depth. My bum with, is beautiful too. <laughs> the fro- uh, with with uh, whatever's closer to the lens is slightly um, out of focus, so giving it a nice sort of, um, I don't know, crispy look. Strong colors, back, black ground, uh, black background even. And also, uh, the entire calendar has a white frame, which, um, if you're into Richard Spencer, might be your thing. Yeah. I mean, the frame around the picture is is a sort of representation of a white ethnostate, isn't it? Yeah. I'm, I'm not sure we will get another calendar to review next year if we keep going like this. September, Georgios. Oh, I looked this up and I forgot it again. Skyliners, I believe. Skyline, yes, yes. I've actually haven't heard of this game. I've heard of the name, but I haven't actually seen this game until this picture. It looks quite nice. Yeah, and it's colourful. Yeah, it's got it's got plastic things raising into the sky. Yeah, it's very phallic. Very phallic. Male architecture is quite phallic in general, isn't it? Men build things that look like willies, don't they? Oh, do they? Yeah, they do. Yeah, yeah. That's that's kind of their deal, isn't it? All right. So are you arguing that the Hobbit spaces are essentially female? I wouldn't know. I don't know what ladies' bits look like, George Oss. <laughs> so I couldn't tell you. Well, I, I was going to... Well, I'm not entirely sure They might either. look like Cthulhu for all I know. <laughs> no, I'm, I'm quite certain that's not true. But my, I mean, if, if long, erect, whatever's are phallic looking... Erections, they're called. Ah, yes, yes. Buildings, you erect them. They're erections. That is true. That is true. I'm sure nobody in the history of mankind has made this pun before, so I think we're going on uncharted waters. I think, I think that this episode will go down in history as the greatest single podcasting achievement by mankind. Possibly. I think the Golden Geek is basically ours with this one. Yeah, yeah. We didn't win the Golden Geek, but next year calendar episode <laughs> just the calendar episode forget the rest of the podcast oh halloween george what's october uh, october is mysterium actually the current international release of mysterium which is the very fancy one i believe With the sexy balls a- <laughs> they are they, there's a yellow one and a blue one so he's got blue balls and a red one red balls sexy balls that they use like crystal balls what's wrong with you nothing Nothing. Go on. Crystal balls. You, wait, you you were wait. Let, let, let's 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 track. Let's let's retrace our steps here. Okay. We had erections. That's right. Buildings. Building. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, we have now balls. Blue balls. Yes. Yeah, and a blue we have the suggestion there. that lady bits l- may look like Cthulhu. I don't know exactly, but the suggestion was there. I, I mean, they I might, might have suggested it. They might look like guitars as well. I mean, literally, I have no idea, George Oz. There we go. It's not an area of my life of which I have much experience. There you go. November. What have we got here? November is a very, very, let's say, uh, innovative arrangement of 
Roll for the Galaxy, which, colorful as it is, can actually be improved by using it, uh, using all the components to basically build the... It looks like Mario, doesn't it? It, it looks does like look he's a built bit. a Mario level with the components. A little bit. I'm not quite... Actually, yeah, now you think look, about there's it. There's the little man running away there, look. Yeah, little man running away. What, it's, what's it's, he running away from, Georges? The fat boy? Commitment. That's what he's running away from, Georges. That's what we're all running away from. Um, not all of us. It rises up like Cthulhu from the depths. Again with your sexual from, metaphors. From Rullier. <laughs> and so we run away from the tentacles of commitment, Georgios, just like the man on this photo in November on the Frosted Games Brechbill calendar. Wow. I'm impressed. Tying it in, Georgios. Yeah, very, very much. I'm not quite sure what you're tying in with what, but yes, you are. Last month of the year, Georgios. Oh, that is, uh, I believe, Seven Wonders Duel. Including the now much sought after promo item of the, I think, uh, pewter piece that you put to track the military victory. If you were to use three adjectives, Georgios, to describe this photo on December, sexy German spelling with a Z, by the way. Obviously. It's the last month of the year. Obviously, it's a Z in there. Three adjectives. What would you use? Sharp. Yeah, that works. Uh, colorful. Yeah, colorful works. And, um... Erotic. <laughs> not quite, no, not quite. No. Not quite. Stimulating. <laughs> no, no, keep going, keep going. Maybe we'll find a word that'll fit. Um, let's say... Tumescent. I'm going to say... Kissable. <laughs> I'm going to say flat. It, 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 well, it, it, it gives you a, 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 a picture of 3D, but it's actually printed on a page, so it's, yeah. it's flat. It is 2D, yeah. Well, it's not that flat. I mean, there's, again, as I mentioned earlier while you were singing, uh, there's a nice bit of depth to it. And, uh, oh, I like it. I think, um, of all the pictures, I noticed that most of the pictures in the calendar have a black background and the ones with a black background actually make the components really pop up. They do. I think, uh, I'm, I'm sorry to criticize, uh, Meeple Pete here. I think he may have gone with the wrong, uh, in the wrong direction with the pandemic, the cure photo, which is just white background. Uh, just it somehow it seems not quite as vibrant as the rest of the pictures, though. But you know, so what? So George Oz has just slagged off the prize for the competition that we we're about to <laughs> announce. So you could win. Meeple Pete has given us one of these calendars <laughs> that George Oz obviously thinks is mediocre. So would you like to win this calendar? Very easy. It's very easy. All you need to do is basically post a better reason. Uh, to, to, to win this calendar than I have come up with. Yeah, so go on our Facebook page. That's yes. perfect information on Facebook. It is. And we would like you to post three adjectives to describe this calendar. Yes. Actually, I want to make it a bit more challenging. Mine may not be one of the words. Yeah, can't use mine. Because we are against minds. Yeah. I mean, the thing is, they pollute the atmosphere, don't they, George Oz? Yes, um, among other things. They also pollute the ground. So, if you would like to win this calendar, go on our Facebook page, Perfect Information. We'll put a pinned post up there, three adjectives to describe this calendar. And to help with the adjectives, once more. It does not sound at all like you're falling over. Foley. <laughs> <laughs>